Hi everybody, welcome! It's Scarlet Pete's Self-Sufficiency and today we're taking the pigs from the old area into the new area and hopefully they're going to be really excited and happy to be digging in there. So what they're going to do, they're going to dig my garden for me of course. Why would I want to dig my garden? The pigs are going to do it for me. So the gardens have been really poorly looked after over the last year. It was a permaculture no dig garden but husband got to it and dug it. We won't go there any further. I've moaned about that already on another video. So I'm going to use it as an opportunity to start the gardens again. Please excuse the noise in the background. That's our generator running to run the electric fence. So what I'm going to do is the pigs are just going to go and eat all the weeds. They're going to dig and clear and do a very good job for me, along with the chickens. And when the soil looks like this soil over here, which is where the pigs have been, Look, we've got one slow pig there that doesn't know that it's on a good thing if it turns left. It's going right. So when the soil looks like it does over there, we will then give it one last um, disc harrowing with the tractor to flatten it all out. And then we will take, I think, and plan it all out. What should we do? What do we need for our family's needs now? Because there's three of us. My husband, myself, and my daughter oh well and then there's the chickens and the pigs and the dogs so and the horses so there's going to be things needing to grow for them there's going to be uh, sweet corns potatoes onions all sorts of things so we need to work out our needs we need a big tomato bed because we want to grow all our tomato puree for the one year um, that'll be a good challenge we need pumpkins for winter time for the pigs growing so lots to think about oh where are you, pig? There you are. Go on, go into the new garden. You'll like it over there. That's their little home in there. So that's gonna still stay within the um, electric fence area. And that's where they're going to go. So here's the remnants of my old no-dig beds, which the chickens seem to be really enjoying. They are very sensible pigs over there and they're getting into the weeds for me, which is excellent to see. So what have we done? Let's have a little look-see. We've put down the electric fence, we've put down a plastic, and we've put a bit of reinforcement on the household side. So you don't want the pigs going and um, breaking through into where we live. So what we're going to do is keep them on this side. So that's, like I say, just a bit of reinforcement. So what we do, we have a plastic fence line, which means when the pigs hit the electric fence there in the early days, pigs will shoot forwards. So if you have something to prevent them going forwards, it will hold them momentarily onto the electric fence. And instead of shooting away from it, they'll go out, out, out and reverse. And that will teach them then never to go through the fence. Lil's going to give them a bit of milk over there now. Is there, what's in there? Some milk and some food just to keep them happy. That's just something to keep them a bit happy and encourage the boring pig over there to come through, but they're all too interested. That just goes to show you, they want what's natural in the environment. They want what pigs should be eating, which is grubs and weeds and roots. There's some more of my no-dig beds left over. Is that nice, piggies? Are you having a good time? Yes, there's a tree there I need you to root up, please, because that doesn't need to be in my garden. On this side we've put some mesh. That's also to keep the dogs from going into the pigs. Because the, the pigs would usually the dogs would usually run through the garden and have a woof at anybody at the neighbours. Well they can't get through now. There's a pony doing her thing, grazing over there for us. So we've got to put a few more lines of electricity up. Three more lines, or two more lines, we've got three in total. But um, they should be pretty happy in here, shouldn't they, Lil? So thanks for watching. Keep keep um, dropping in to see our updates to see what the pigs do to my gardens and then the designs and the planting process. So this is about, I think, third or fourth video on the pig in the permaculture gardens. Thanks for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Please like, subscribe and share and give me a comment so I know you're there. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, piggies. Say bye-bye, Lily.
Bye. See ya.